Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 29 of my Manchester United Football Manager 2015 Let's Play. And of course, we do have Arsenal in this Community Shield game. It's interesting looking at their team. Uh, there's a lot of rejects uh, from us they have there. I'm going to have to wait until they show them again. Yeah, you've got De Gea, Evans, who else? Rooney, who we sold, and even Welbeck, uh, who joined before, obviously. But it will be very interesting to see how they go. Uh, but this is not really an important game for me. It's still another friendly game uh, before we get underway and against Tottenham. Of course, it goes down as a competition one, but it's nothing really to brag about. And yeah, we have more serious business to attend to now, uh, being in the Champions League this season. And yeah, I want to do. I always want to do well there. So yeah, this is our team now. This is our team uh, going in. I want to give some younger players a chance. Like I said, it's not absolutely crucial. Like it's not the end of the world if we don't win this game here. So I am going to play Nicola Liali. No doubt, unless we yeah, get another goalkeeper, he's going to take over from well you know, from Valdez. And who knows if he performs and does well in training, he can push to start. So that's a good thing because he's 22 now. He played a full season last season, uh, got his experience underway, conceded a lot of goals because played a poor team, uh, played for a poor team that did uh, pretty bad, conceded goals and expected to finish near the bottom. But yeah, he's, uh, he's a great signing for a free transfer for a backup, especially because his growth potential, three-star potential ability. So yeah, I'm happy about that. Uh, that we signed him, and Valdez being the experienced guy. If you look at Valdez, uh, he still he looks strong. Uh, he still looks good as a keeper, and he did well for me. And of course, yeah, not to discount his time at Barcelona. So you have to be pretty good to be key man for Barcelona. But also still playing guys like Will Hughes, anyone else here, John Stones as well. Uh, I want to have a mix of experience and youth players, like James Wilson as well. I reckon he could be up for a big season because uh, we did sell Rooney, so he's going to get more of a chance, but we did retain Falcao as well. And Giovinco uh, can play striker. So we could have striker options, no doubt. People thought maybe you sell Rooney, may not have many options, especially if I didn't get Falcao on loan again. Uh, but that's it. Uh, that's all can fit into first team. There's a couple of players that probably need reserve games. Guys like Raskandani, um, Tielemans. Uh, Vitzel is still poor morale. I thought he would be cured. Because going to a new season, can't he just forget about what happened and that kind of stuff? Uh, we have a lot of center backs like that can play like two left backs and center backs, if that makes sense at all. Like Rojo can play left back and center back, and Balanta can play left back and center back, and then new signing of Samuel Amtiti, who can play left back and center back. So it's a good thing, though. It is a good thing because obviously, yeah, there's three positions there. We've got like Luke Shaw, Stones as well, Jones. We've got a lot of players, uh, but I think we're going with this team. I think this is good enough. Yeah, Witzel is a big one for me. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure what to do with him. I want to give him a go. This could be a opportune time, but I want to give Will Hughes a chance in this kind of game. So we'll just let we'll let things sort itself out um, as we go in here. Um, yeah, hopefully uh, get a victory. But like I said, it's not absolutely crucial if we don't win it. It's not going to decide if we're going to win the title or win Champions League. It's Again, it's just another preseason game before the start of the league season. So Rooney's up front for them. A guy who I didn't think is going to make it for us. Because, uh, yeah, he is getting older. But he's still quality, at least for now. So you have to watch out for him. He's got some good attributes. But look at that. Non-competitive games for them. Hasn't even scored yet. So I'm not sure if that's playing on his mind or something. But I'm pretty confident uh, going in and like in my Braga save in my journeyman I'm going to start doing just apply advice to team from our assistant uh, from Benevan and yeah he's yeah hard tackling Rooney I could have done that myself as well I probably would have so we'll see how this goes down and we will continue to the team talk and what should I go in let's say passionately these fans have been fantastic for us they're the ones who really pay your wages Go out there and win this for them. Yeah, that usually gets some motivating reactions. So let's go in. Hopefully, uh, Di Maria can pick up where he left off last season. He finished the season so strong. Uh, was the best player in the Premier League for mine by far as well. So big game against Arsenal here. It's an interesting one because 
last season, we both really had a big win against each other, so it'll be interesting to see how this game pans out, if someone wins easily or not. Both teams are different, different starting 11s, everything. Come on, got to win this back. Insigne's on, Insigne! That was a poor shot. To not get on target from there, try to lob or something like a chip and didn't really work out for them. But yeah, they seem to be dominating early here. Getting the better of possession. Oh, well done defending. But it goes to Rooney. Florenzi. To Gibbs. Aaron Ramsey. Florenzi. To Johnny Evans. See, who they got sent? Johnny Evans and Nkulu's decent. Oh, Rooney. Finds Insigne. He wasted another chance. Had a golden chance there. Come on, we've got to do better. Van Persie, Yanazai, get a cross in. He tries to get past Gibbs and he fails. My team seems a bit rusty, but that's yeah to be expected in preseason. Mata, oh, the passing. What's this? Rooney. Rooney finds Wilshere. Another chance. Oh, they just got a sweaty goal like in FIFA. <laughs> Walcott, first goal of the season. If you see on the replay, that was like a sweaty goal in FIFA. Just pass it across when the then the goal here runs up and it's a tap-in. Disappointed to concede. Yeah, like that. So he just scores a tap-in goal. Just a trampy kind of goal. But come on. This is... Um, this is not what I'm familiar with uh, from last season. Maybe early in the season. <laughs> Maybe the first half of the season, but definitely not the second half. But again, uh, like I said, it's it takes time to get back where you left off. Yeah, coming off holiday, pre-season, all that. Come on, Yanazai. Run at Gibbs. Mata. Van Persie gets it back against his old side as well. Oh, offside. I don't know. Offside this year in Football Manager, I don't. they just seem more tedious. I don't know why. They just, I don't know, Just there's something about them. Whether it's the game leaving it too long before it says it offside or something, I don't know. But it's something that makes me annoyed about them. <laughs> uh, but that's general. I think I've always been annoyed when you, can, you, you think you get a goal, then it's offside. But I don't know. Come on. Wilshere. Ramsey. Karen Gibbs. Uh, what am I, I'm just thinking if there's anything I can change up, but I think we just have to play a general game. James Wilson. Oh, De Gea saves it. This is... Oh, Rooney's got an injury. But yeah, I reckon this is where the danger part for the De Gea uh, transfer would be. He's only going to get better as a goalkeeper. So he's going to be really good for Arsenal over the next season. But we had to sell him. He didn't want to play for us. So what can you really do with that when you have a player that doesn't want to play for your team? It's never going to work out well. He wasn't even playing well for me. So I had to change something up in that position. Now Di Maria. Wilson! Whew, that's what I mean. Hey, he's good. I wish he didn't want to leave, but sometimes, like as a manager, there's only so much you can do. And look, Rooney injured and got subbed off. So, so far, the deal is better. Well, yeah, it's worked out for us so far. He just played one half and he got injured. So, yeah, that money, that 30 million, doesn't seem worth it at the current point in time. But yeah, we'll go aggressive. Show me something else in the second half, lads. Come on. We can't go into the league playing like this. Like, if we are lo if we were losing... Well, we are. Like, if we're losing and we were showing signs, that would be good. But we're not showing signs at all. That is the problem. So, yeah, we're definitely going to make subs after this. Especially if we don't score. Welbeck. And, yep, they... Um, poor pass. Luke Shaw, Di Maria, finds Wilson. He's had a couple chances in this game. Finds Van Persie. Finds Yanazai. Yanazai, he's the one to beat De Gea. 
come on, Adnan Yanazai, this could be a huge season for him. But again, it's going to be that thing, whether to start him regularly or Quadrado. But being in Champions League, they're both going to play um, a lot. But Yanazai, oh, he's a star, Adnan Yanazai. But now it's time to make some subs. So yeah, Yanazai is one that's definitely not going to come off. Yeah, Wilson, kind of expected, being poor, but now we can bring on Falcao. Hmm. Di Maria hasn't had the best of games. Ooh, but Will Hughes, nah. Will Hughes has been poor. We'll bring on new signing Lucas Romero, see if he does something special. And, hmm. Anyone else? Yeah, maybe Di Maria. And we'll bring on Memphis. All right, again, Memphis. Memphis and Yanazai on those wings. They're going to have huge season. But again, it's the same thing. Di Maria is going to start more than Memphis. So I'm not... But it's, yeah, it's a good problem to have in your team. They're both going to be rotated. That's that's a for sure thing. So I think we just have to see how it pans out. You could, we could get injuries. You don't know. Uh, Falcao, showing what you got today. Oh, confused and demotivated. Lucas Romero, pressure off. Memphis Depay, pressure off. So yeah, not the best player talks there. But yeah, the team body language is motivated. So that is good. Come on, Raphael. He tripped Insigne, but that was it for that highlight. Hmm. I think he may be a team talk. Oh, Mata injured. It's funny how it happens after you make the three subs. Uh, team talk. We'll go calmly and say, uh, get creative. We'll see how that goes. Come on. And Arsenal make some changes additionally. Unfortunately, yeah, I can't take Mata off, so. Something will happen, <laughs> no doubt. Come on. Can it be for us? That is the question. Wilshire plays in Welbeck. Can he be the one to do it? He does. That's disappointing, but I didn't sell Welbeck, <laughs> of course, so that's not really my doing. Uh, yeah, it's. I find it struggling uh, things to say about this because I don't really care so much about um, the Community Shield. Like, even if I won it, I wouldn't really care because I already got... Re I was happy last season with what I did. And that's with, then that's with winning the Premier League, a big thing. And I got excited about that, and people thought that was too much getting excited just for winning Premier League. So, yeah, I'm only going to get excited. The next point is if I win Champions League, um, I guess. But, of course, if there's close games, you're going to get up and about. Definitely that will happen. Like, these games here are not easy wins. And Welbeck, this is what I mean. You can say it's easy uh, to achieve with Manchester United, but it's still going to be hard. You're still going to have to play to your best. There's still going to be problems, and you're not going to be able to win every single game. Yanazai, maybe. Oh! He does. See, that's why you can never give up. Because Yanazai can come up and save you. And I got, I, I can tell everyone in the comments now, they're going to say, play Yanazai all the time. Who cares about Quadrado? It's a penalty shootout. So, I'll just... I don't even know, honestly. I'll just press start because i got those seven there. Obviously, not all of them are starting, but YOLO, let's go in and see if we can win on penalty shootout. Van Persie steps up, and he would finish. Will be great to win this. Like I said, I won't get too excited if I do because uh, we have more serious uh, stuff to attend to after this game, but it'll be a good morale-boosting uh, win going into the Premier League. Now, Ramsey is going to step up. He's against Liali. It's going to be his chance to shine. Nicola Liali. Can he prove to me he can get a start? No, Ramsey finds the back of the nets. And did well, Aaron Ramsey. He's a class player. Knows how to finish. And it was showcased there, but we have Falcao. One of the best finishers in the world. And his penalty taking is pretty strong. So you'll be expecting him to finish our number nine. Coming up again this season, a loan transfer. <laughs> Only have to pay his wages. But Falcao, every day of the week, you'd put your money on him. 
So much accuracy in his penalties. And next up, Alexis Sanchez is coming up uh, to face our keeper, uh, Nicole Liali. Like I said, he's he can be the future for us if he reaches his potential. If he doesn't, we'll be on the lookout for another goalkeeper, of course. I'll probably yeah, search for some other maybe regen types. But here, Liali, it could be his time. But Sanchez didn't look like missing that. And Liali didn't look like saving it <laughs> off of that evidence. And now Mata, oh no, he's he has that knock, yeah? Oh, come on, Mata. I know he has a knock, but he's class. He should get this. He's against De Gea. Former teammates. One Mata. He steps up, and he finds the back of the net. Penalties from both teams have been real good today. We'll be interested to see who makes the first mistake. Welbeck, who scored. You probably put your money on him to score because he's confident. Already scored today. Already beat Liali. But can Liali win it this time? The one-on-one -on -one battle. Welbeck v. Liali. Who's going to come out on top here? Welbeck shapes up. Oh, Liali got close. But Welbeck, it was too strong at the end. Liali, any good sign, he guessed the right way. But next up, John Stone's coming up. Potentially a future leader of the club. Not sure if he'll be captain. We've got a few candidates for that role. But definitely an experienced campaigner at the back. He will become for us. John Stone's important penalty to score here. He steps up and coolly puts it away. He showed composure there. That just tells so much how he's going to be for us in the future. For yeah, defenders to take a penalty, um, usually they're the more composed defenders, and so it's good to see that from John. Okay, Arsenal. Pressure is on for them to score here. It's Jack Wilshere, and it's big player for them as well. And he smashed that. <laughs> I wonder who's going to miss the first penalty. If we miss... Oh, I hope... I hate missing on the fifth. And when everyone scores, it's Yanazai. You'd put your money on Yanazai, surely. As he scored two in this game, he's the guy who's kept us in it, really. So you put your money on him to score. Adnan Yanazai. Again. Against De Gea, former teammates. Yanazai. I told you. I had all my confidence in Yanazai to put that home. Or well, who's going to miss first? It's going to be one of those penalty takeouts or penny shootouts. Sorry, that's going to. It's re, It's a good penalty uh, shootout. Like all the players are on on form with their penalties. It will be down to just one player who stuffs it up. It probably won't be a goalkeeper save. That's just my guess anyway. Florenzi, or oh, it is. <laughs> it worked. Oh, the reverse psychology worked, <laughs> and Liali saved it. Oh, that's going to make him so confident. What a comeback. Decent win there. And it's another competition to my name. What a save from Liali. De Gea, he was a key player for them. A good rating for goalkeeper. Why couldn't he do that for me? Yeah, no good ratings. But Liali, what's his rating? At the end of the day, he won it, his save. If I go to... Uh, where am I going? Manchester United stats. Liali only got a 6.7, but... Literally, he won the game or saved the game. So I'm actually just going to leave this episode for one game and then I'll start it in the next episode because this episode's gone about 20 minutes already and yeah, it'll probably go over 30, like 35. That'll probably be a bit too much. So I will leave it at that for now. Uh, we win the Community Shield. Another competition, another win uh, to my name. Got to take that. Ramiro makes his debut. The Pie, he's been performing well in training in the left midfield. So yeah, keeping the pressure on Di Maria. But yeah, like Di Maria is... Obviously, going to be always playing unless he uh, drops in form. So, he continued the tradition of winning the Community Shields and Yanazai, the crop, all that kind of stuff. So, yeah, like I said, I'll end it here so I can start from the next episode, the actual start of the season in the Premier League against Tottenham. It's going to be huge. But hopefully, enjoy the episode. Eventually, we did get the win, but I, I failed to get a bit excited about that Community Shield, to be honest, because it's not really exciting competition. So, sorry if it wasn't that exciting for like my commentary personally. I just really want to get the Premier League underway, if I'm honest. And But because I've won the Premier League already, 
it's kind of, yeah, it may get that way. That happened to me in FM14. I kind of lost interest a little bit, but hopefully being in the Champions League will keep that interest up. And yeah, with new signings, hopefully that will be the case. But anyway, hopefully enjoy the episode. Like I said, if you want to see next season, or the start of a season in the Premier League, the first game against Tottenham, and then yeah, Aston Villa, drop a like on this video, and I'll see you guys next time.